I know you've probably seen this 3D effect trending on your Twitter, your Instagram, and even your WhatsApp status. Well, most people use Photoshop to do this effect, but today I'll be showing you how to do this 3D effect using your smartphone and a little bit of creativity. So without further philandering, let me show you how this is done using Pixel Lab. So the first thing we want to do is open up Pixel Lab. Now this is the default template we'll be using. I would not want us to worry about the background now. We'll be doing that later. First of all, you want to write out all your text, all the text, all the icons, everything you'll be using. Place them on the screen. Then we'll deal with the background work later. So let's go. So this icon here is to change to small letter, change to capital letter, anyhow you want it. So now to change the font, just click on this A button here and you should see fonts here. Now I have my fonts I normally use for this type of work, so Adobe, Gothic. I'll put it in the description box so you can download if you want to use it. I'll copy it because I want this one to be now before we go on let's import our logo to do that just click here import here i'll be using this so let's just leave that here now i would change the color of this to something blue something like this if you want to add more color you can find that here and make it more light more dark and here you can just scroll through the color you want now you can go ahead and just add all the text you want to use then we'll come back to the arrangements later on Now to make things easier, you can go on and match these two texts together. To do that, click on the layer button here and click on this button here. Now these are the two texts we want to match, so click on the match button, press OK. And now we can move them together. Now let's go on and add the contact me icon, your Facebook icon, Gmail, whatsapp instagram anything you want to search for just make sure you download in png format that will be the transparent format to not bring the background onto the picture you are importing it on so anything you want to search for be it whatsapp icon just search for whatsapp icon dot png and you should be able to find it like that to import just click this import now Let's start with WhatsApp first. Now 
now let's see two layers are staying on top of each other something like this and you want to select one let's say i want to select my twitter now and you can't easily select it now it's the same thing like photoshop because this app works in layer all you have to do is click on the layer button here now click on the layer you want to move as you can see it is now clicking on twitter and still i can't even move this because if i try to move it it's just going to change the size so what you want to do is click here go to position now this is the position button to make it go faster faster on i think the height is just too much to fix that click on relative size and height change it to seven eight as you can see it is changing the width if i want to change the width too so i'll just reduce this yes yeah, so we we are done with that what we want to do now is type in our text now there are two ways to add text you can either click on this a button click on text here or you can do it by clicking the plus button here click on text and it's still the same thing to reduce the size click on size it's as simple as that so to change the fonts it's just the same thing click on fonts here if you check the app, there are lots of fonts you can choose from, even Latin. What the fuck? Now it is worth mentioning that you can also change the style of your text. Now you can change it to bold, you can use italics, and you can underline it. To cancel all this, just click on this button here. Now the selection is useful if you want some part of the text to take in the style you just picked. So let's say I want to underline only to do it. As you can see, it is the only one that has been underlined. So I'll go on and exit out of this. Choose bold. So moving on let's say i want my text to be on the same line because if you should check this my whatsapp and twitter they are not aligned so to do this just click on this grid button here and now you can see the line i can just move this can change the color you can put stroke you can change the color of the stroke here you can put to blur radius to blow it out all right okay now we want to copy this Now you don't want to waste time moving this up and down you can just use the position button to easily move it because now i can't see what i'm doing but if you should check it they are not straight so position make sure you move it down
now let's say you made some mistake in your text and you want to quickly adjust that just click on the text and click on edit here to bring you back to this and you can change it now the next thing i want to do is i want this text to pop out i want the color to come out so i would adjust it by putting stroke so to do that you find it here enable it and as you can see this made a bit of adjustment to it you can reduce it you can increase it but i like it like this so i'll do the same for now i want to bring this up a little bit let's say somewhere around here also same goes for this put it somewhere here now you can go on and add as many shapes as you want the last one i want to do is this now i want to change the position i want it to face the other side and not this side to do that just go on crop I change the background and that is because people might just want to use a plain background so in order to do this just click on this button here click on color now the color is if you want to use a plain color something like this and the gradient is if you want to mix the colors together these are some of the templates you can choose from but if you want to create your own style just click on this plus button here the first button here is for the first color this is the color picker and second you can just pick anything that comes to mind and these are the patterns you can use these are the gradient patterns so let's say i want to use something like this press ok and as you can see it has changed to that color so that is that about how to use the gradient and the color tools now let's go on and change our background to what we want to use now most people that use photoshop use a particular image for their background and that is what i'll be sharing with you guys in the description box so you can download if you want to use it also and here it is click ok resize it Now you want to send this to the back like this and what you want to do is click on 3D rotate here. Now the X axis is if you want to rotate from upward to downward while the Y axis is if you want to rotate sideways. So this is what we want to do. Just make it something like this. Now I advise you to use a range between 0 to 5 as you don't want to overdo this. So let's see, 4 here is good for me and I like it like this. So click on OK. Now what we want to do is match our text together so we won't have to repeat the same process over and over again. Now I would recommend you match by colors. What do I mean by this? Match the blue text together, match the white text together as it will be easier to differentiate from each other. So let's do that glass is blue my graphics is blue this is blue match that okay now my how to do it is blue, white 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 match now once you rotate your background make sure you lock it so it will not move by mistake to do this click on the layer then click on lock here and, and as you can see it is not moving at all now what we want to do is add in some shadows to our text to do that click on shadows i'll be using the preset as it is looking good already and i don't want to spoil it 
so just click on ok now the inner shadow is optional you can choose to use it and you can choose not to use it but i'll be using it but i won't be doing it too much so a blow radius of two to three is enough and i i like it like this click on ok now the emboss option also is optional it is just the lightning of the text you can choose to use it and you can choose not to use it as you can see this is just too much so i'll reduce the intensity to something 20 should be okay the ambient light, ambient light is the amount of light that is being reflected on the text and if you remember we are only working on a white text alone the graphics and the simple but not classy is not affected as you can see so put it around 90 so that is all for that now let's repeat the same step for our graphics Lastly, what we want to do is match all our text together except the background as we'll be going on to the 3D effect. Match. Now as you can see it is looking good already and the last and final step we want to do is go on and save this as an image and that is how to do the 3d text effect using your smartphone so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel until next time i come your way peace out